we're going to be showing you guys how to mount tires well we don't know if these will work because these are super stretched they'll be super stretched this is a 15 by 8 rim eight and a half, eight and a half rim sorry and that's a 175 55 these are the tires that went on my Saturn yes we know they have wires shown but we're just going to see if they see if they work because I uh, he don't have all four of the same size, so we're going to put two 175 55s in the back, and those are 195 65s in the front. So, I don't know. Just need a big pry bar, really. It's, this is going to be hard though, so this is probably in the best uh, tire and rim to show you guys how to put them on. Is it working? Do you want me to do anything? It's going on slowly. Can't do it. Little by little. There it goes. And then after we get this around the rim, probably going to use gas or try to air it up first I know airing it up isn't gonna work because it has to be it has to get popped on I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's actually on there it look tight though do you think it will you'll have more stretch than Zach hell no yeah you will See how it looks, and I'll probably put the same size on the front. Probably don't mess up the bead Not doing that. This should be alright. You guys get the idea. I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's actually on. You guys can see how stretched it'll be. Let's see. I kind of ripped the like the bead on one of the sides, but this this is the back. We're definitely gonna have to use gas though to pop it on. Ow. Fuck your rim. It's way smaller, huh? As you guys could tell. Hold it up real quick. And that's like you can you guys could tell the difference. This will look tight. Let me hold it for you. Yeah, it probably will. If I had the two more for the front, I'd probably throw the front on too. Not definitely far away from him. No, no doubt. We're gonna try to use the gas in his fuel, so if he has any, yeah, there's a little. Yeah, to pop it on. Dang, those wires cut me. We're gonna have to dismount this tire too, so you guys learn that. I'm okay. gonna get the air compressor ready and filled up, like compressed with air, so just in case the tire starts caving in, we'll be able to do it. She was supposed to get a lighter, but we got our, uh, with this, this is the gas. You just pour it around the bead, like all right here and on the other side. And then you just take a lighter to it, light it on fire and it should pop on. I'm not sure if it will. Sorry, it's kind of loud. He's scared. If you guys heard it pop, it popped on the bead on one side. It popped on both? Did it pop on both? Uh, I guess it popped on both beads. Now you just need to air it up. Line things on fire. Sorry 
for the wind noise. These look pretty good with those stretched tires. Told you they hold air. They should hold air. That water bottle. Want me to fill it up? Yeah. It's gonna fill it up, and then you just spray water around the beads, both sides. Just and if you see any air bubbles, then you'll know it's leaking. If you guys don't already it's just know that. on the back, and as you guys can tell, the back won't have no camber. Only the, and he's barely gonna drive it until it gets it all fixed up or something. So it won't be like that, just the front wheel. You guys will be able to tell the different size tires for sure though. See how big those are. If it looks all right, compared to those. Put a, some on the front like you said. Mm -hmm. That would be tight. You know, having it stretched on the front too like that. Sorry. What are you doing? We don't want that. He don't want it. Just dog food. Your dog? We're going to try to put these, uh, he cut these from the other front fenders when we lifted it. You're going to try to put them over the bondo so they look good. And we're going to cut all this out. Well, yeah, we're going to cut all that out. He already started cutting this side out. You guys seen in the other video, this was all bad. Oh, yeah. Look how tiny these look compared to those. Oh, yeah. You, you can't rock those. those? Yeah. Do you guys think it looks dumb? Let us know. I'll get another good shot when he, after he puts it on and everything. These tires are still brand new, but nobody ever had them. So I remembered in the morning, uh, I seen these in my backyard, and I knew they hold air because I, I put them before they popped just because they have wires. But uh, I have another one over there. It has good tread and everything. It just right here has a uh, wire showing on like the sidewall I don't know how I didn't have that much camber this should look pretty good unless it looks stupid because that small ass tire I think it might look stupid unless you put those in the front right now we're looking for the valve stem remover to take the valve stem out of uh, 195.60 that way we can take the tire off the rim we gotta look through this whole thing of tools for something that's probably this big well we found it this is what it looks like the other one at my house has a handle it's way bigger and it I mean they work the same it's just I think the other one's better so just put that in the hole turn it How are we gonna get this off? To get it to pop off the bead, you're gonna have to use like a heavy car or something. And the person driving it has to back up onto this, like right here, like not on the rim all the way. And that way all the weight is pushing it down. Try to get it off the bead. So, show you guys. This might be a bad shot, I don't know. Sit 
on the beach right now going to get water to try to make a delivery. Where'd it go? Then it should, she has it. Where's that? Uh, then it should pop off the beach. That's what it looks like. That's what it uh, looks like when it's starting to come off. You might have to try it a couple times, but eventually you'll get it. We finally got it one side to pop off. We had to use a screwdriver and kind of pry while we were running it over, but we got it. We just got to flip it over and do the other side. Stay right there. Hold on. I got it. I think. Yep. Good. Like we said, it shouldn't. It won't be that hard on like a regular tire, say. Well, I can't, we don't have no tires here to show you. Say like one of those regular tires right there on that car. You can tell that uh, the sidewall is kind of thick. So uh, we got both of these beads off. All you need is a car, water pretty much, water and soap to get it all wet and like soapy. And then you need pry bars. The pry bar is kind of shitty, you guys can tell. This isn't the easiest way, but this kind of seems like a fast way. Should I keep trying to push down? You got it. Oh, yeah. That's how you guys dismount a tire. And I'm not going to show you guys mounting this again. I'll show you. That's so cool. There we go. Come on. There we go. That's what it'll sound like when it pops on the bead. So usually, uh, the back's not popped on. Water on it. You'll be able to, whenever you do that, uh, pop it on the bead with gas, you usually won't need to put air in it right away. Because it'll make that, that like loud popping noise. So, uh. This one got take four, I think. Yeah, take four, finally, uh, got it. Yes, this one has wires too, we know. It's only temporary. I have four brand new ones at my house, but I don't know if I'm gonna let them get them yet. Checking in for bubbles. That was kind of hard. When I did that tire, dude, that shit blew up in my face. Really? I still have that uh, clip. Oh, where it, ah! Really? Yeah, whoever screamed. I don't know who screamed. I'm pretty sure that was either me or Kelsey. Dude, that was scary. If I could put that clip in, I'll show you guys.
Kind of looks stupid because how much tire gap it has. You could tell the difference. The back, he needs a C notch ASAP. The only reason that the other side has more gap because he cut that that piece out on the other side because we have the other pieces to fill it in. Oh yeah, you could tell the difference. Like I said, let me know what you guys think if it looks stupid like this. I mean, he's not going to drive it every day or anything. He definitely I'll needs probably, more low. I'll probably get the front ones too, so. She's going to get the front ones so it all matches. I mean, it really doesn't look that bad if, if I had it all put together in the back. You already cut that too. That's how uh, it's going to look like. I'm a bondo. This off. You got bondo I now? Uh, Chris got it. I'd say let's go pick it up. Well, I need welding wire. Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to tack welding. Bondo it. And I'm going to bondo it from right here. Get the nice lines. You're going to bondo his gas cap close so you guys can't see these uh, lines. But yeah, that that looks way better than the cut piece that you guys just seen. I mean, it still needs more low, but uh, he he uh, fails the test. If you guys know that test what about the other side. No, you that He gotta he gotta get like the Saturn. Ooh, you fell this test too. Gotta get like the Saturn. We thought he'd lay frame. Well, wait till I get the front one. Yeah, once he gets the front ones on, it'll get him lower. You guys see the U-bolts. I mean, he's kind of low. And then, I don't know if you guys see that. That's his exhaust pipe. I'm surprised these tires worked. Now he's thinking about it. It looks pretty, it looks kind of good. Yeah, from a distance. 